Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Wednesday, March 1st, 2023. Alright, let's get started. One across. Like some plants that don't need watering. I guess this is talking about succulents? I wonder if this is going to be aloe. Let's see if that's right. Dandy. Hmm. This could, again, be a person that is a dandy, or it could be something that's good. I wonder if it's ace? That's another word for something good. Donkey Kong EG. He would be an example of an ape. Hmm. I wonder if this is not aloe. Let's take this out. This could be something like fop, too. Is this a fern? No, that wouldn't give us ape. Let's put that in. Let's see if we can build across ape here. October birthstone. Okay, I think that's going to be opal. Hmm, maybe this is fob. What is this? Some plants that don't need watering. Otherwise, that's got to be else. Hmm. Oh, is this a fake plant? Oh my god, that's so tricky. German engineer who designed and built the first practical automobile, 1885. Uh, I believe that was Carl Benz. Yeah. And we've got a grid spanner here. Hark, and hear of the vengeful ruler who took great pleasure in expelling disloyal subjects, for he was the dot dot dot. Okay, I think we're going to have maybe a quote that runs through all of our theme answers today. I wonder if it's going to be a joke. Yeah, well, we're going to need a lot more crossing help here if this is a quip. Apt recourse for a deal gone sour. And this is wordplay, so I think we're going to have to think of a punny recourse. It's definitely going to be something sour. I think this is going to be... A lemon law. Yeah, when your car is a lemon. Blank Little, the wire anti-hero. That was Omar Little. Okay. Tiny Tunneler, that's gotta be an ant. Cher or Madonna, e.g. Those would both be an example of a mononym. Yeah, a person that's only got one name. Good day, blank. Good day, mate. Bun holder, so to speak. I guess a bun could be held by an oven when it's baking. Experimental but accessible music genre. Um, is it avant pop? That's a total guess, but I want it to end in pop because they said accessible in the clue. Hmm. Would a poker player wear shades to hide? They want to hide their tell, yeah. With all judges present. Is this some kind of a Latin legal term? Hmm, I don't know if I'm going to know this one. Came two, that's got to be a woke. Okay, so this starts with personal. Hmm, what a pitcher allows in a baseball shutout. They allow... No runs, yeah, kind of by definition. Hearts of glasses. That could be rims, okay. CPR provider could be an EMT. Remove from a bulletin board, say. I guess this is untack? Is that right? Let's see if this is really an A. Longtime Wheel of Fortune host, Pat. Yeah, that's Pat Sajak. Okay, let's see if we can finish this corner up here. Award-winning science fiction writer, Ted. Hmm. I'm not sure if I know this writer. Din from a gaggle? Well, you have a gaggle of geese, right? So that's going to be honks. I definitely like that one. French destination that's one of UNESCO's great spa towns of Europe. I have no idea on this one. I guess it's a French city. Allergic reaction. Is this just a chew? A sneeze? That's pretty cheeky. Mobile dwelling for modern nomads. It's not an RV. What is this? 
A mobile dwelling. Hmm. I'm not sure what they're going for here. So gross, an equivalent phrase. That's gotta be ick. Hmm. Class with mats. Okay, that's gonna be yoga. What is this? Maybe this is Vichy? I know there was a Vichy government during World War II. I wonder if that's right. I guess this is a van, right? Oof, man. What is this? With all judges present. Oh man, I don't know if we're gonna get this. Is it on bonk? I feel like I've heard that term before. B-A-N-C? Personal banking? Oh, is it a personal ban king if you parse it differently? For he was the personal ban king. Yeah, because he's expelling subjects. Okay. So we have everyday phrases that are parsed differently to make wackified phrases. Lead into an alias. That's going to be AKA. Oof. I think this has to be a G, right? Is this going to be another king phrase? Listen now, and I shall relate the story of the curious sovereign who adorned his castle with images of red fruit, for he was the dot dot dot. Okay, well, I imagine it's going to end in king again. Uh, hmm. Red fruit. What kind of red fruit are they talking about? Is this going to be some kind of berry? Hmm. Kind of computer port. I really want that to be USB. School whose newspaper is the Daily Bruin. Um, I think the Bruins are UCLA. Is that right? Common theme park site. I think that's going to be a line. That's very common. Blank day. Down under holiday. I definitely don't know that one. Knee ankle connector. I guess that's your shin. So this is cherry something. Adorned his castle with images of red fruit. Uh... Hmm. What is the images going to be? Is it going to be pick? So it could be cherry picking. And this is the cherry pick king. Oh my goodness. Okay. These are very wacky. All right. Well, at least we know how the theme is working. What Y tries to uncover. I guess that could be a reason. Ooh, what is this? I've definitely never seen this before. Sell out sign could be standing room only. Gunk. Is it crud? So this is on Zock Day? Oh man. All right. With Springsteen, co host of the podcast Renegades Born in the USA. I've never listened to Bruce Springsteen's podcast before. Very interesting. Au contraire, mon frere. On the contrary, my brother. Young Seal, that's going to be a pub. Okay. Occupied should be in use. French for butterfly. I feel like I've seen this before. In Spanish, it's mariposa, right? Have I heard the French word for butterfly? I'm not sure. Glimpsed has got to be saw. Over there, for one. That would be a war song. Yeah, that was a World War I song. I wonder if we can get this next theme answer. Lend me your ear, and I will speak of the clumsy monarch who took twice as many golf strokes as his opponents, for he was the... dot dot dot. Um, it's not a mulligan king. It is going to end in king, though. It's not do-over king. Hmm, I don't know. Fury, that's got to be ire. Move in real estate jargon. That could be relo, relocate. Okay. Maybe it's parking, parking. How would this start? Hmm. Maybe it's double parking. Oh my goodness. 
These are very tricky. Hmm. Yeah, this is not looking familiar. Discovered British style. It's not lit on, is it? Hmm. Who could this be? Chowderheads. Is this Dunces? That's a fun one. Ice cream order could be a Sunday. This is not Obama, is it? I really have a hard time believing that's true. Hmm. Screw up. Is this a person that's a screw up or are you screwing up your courage? Hmm. Quaint lodging could be an inn. Maybe this is a snafu. Oh, it's hyphenated. This is a noun. Yeah, that's very tricky. It is a screw up. Warrior's words. Um. Hmm. Maybe it's I fear. Like many addicts. I imagine a lot of addicts are dusty. Footnote abbreviation could be Ibid. I think that means you're referencing the same work as the previous footnote. Yeah. Dennings of two broke girls. That's cat Dennings. Ironically humorous could be wry or maybe dry. What do we have here? Give heed and listen to my tale of the mad tyrant who decreed that all toilets in his realm be installed the wrong way for he was the dot dot dot. Well, it looks like it should be backward Lu King instead of backward looking. That's really funny. Um, yeah, that might be my favorite one so far. Is it Obama? Which Obama is this? Is that possible? Is it Barack Obama or is it like Michelle Obama? Letter opening. Hmm. Are we talking about an intro to a letter or is it an opening in an envelope? Oh man, is this a mail slot? It's an opening to put letters through. That is super tricky. I love this clue. This is Obama. That is wild. I guess this is a learnt. I think that is a Britishism. It's just a thought. That could be an idea. Um, is it like Papillion? That doesn't quite fit. Element of the Vegas Strip. And this is wordplay, so this is not just a generic piece of the Vegas Strip. I think this is talking about a chemical element that could be neon in all of those signs in Vegas. Hmm. Zesty flavor, that's a tang. So this is a papillon? Is that related to papillion? Hmm. This is way out of my ken here. That's very interesting. Walker's aid, that could be a cane. Actress Hathaway, that's Anne Hathaway. Beer holders are kegs. Certain legal consequence, that would be jail time, yeah. Verbal thumbs up is gonna be an okay. French girlfriend should be an ami, like that I think. Zilch could be nil. And holler is yell, so we have gel come together as plans. Yeah. Excellent. That's a good one to finish on. Let's throw this L in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Wednesday puzzle in just under 20 minutes. So we had a very wacky royal puzzle today. Each of our four theme answers is a kind of wackified phrase that turns an everyday idea into some kind of crazy king. We had a personal ban king, a cherry pick king, a double par king, and a backward loo king. These were all really funny. Yeah, I was thinking we were going to have a quip at first, but I'm kind of happy we ended up where we did with all these crazy kings. There was a bunch of other interesting fill today too. There was some kind of tougher stuff like en banc, avant pop, papillon. The French word for butterfly? Yeah, we definitely learned some new things today. Mononym is kind of tricky too. And we also learned that Obama does a podcast with Bruce Springsteen. That is wild. 
I liked a lot of the trickier clues today too. I think this one is definitely my favorite. Letter opening for a mail slot, that's really, really good. This was nice too, a lemon law for a deal gone sour and neon element of the Vegas Strip. Yeah, those were all really fun. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving that Kingly Wednesday puzzle with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the marquee-themed puzzle of the week, the Thursday, and I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time. <laughs>